What's up, y'all? Envy Me Images Photography, EMIP TV. One of the first things I did for 2018 was to make sure my website's in order, right? I mean, if you're gonna be online, you, you only got one thing that represents you online for the most part, and that is your website. So here's my website, Envy Me Images because I'm nbmeimages.com. This is where the EMIP comes from right there. So what I had to do, I changed um, hosting, right? Because my hosting was going to expire. Let's, let's go ahead and touch hosting real quick. Um, here I am, this is who I was with, just host. I was paying $3.95 a month. I think when I signed up, it was like three years ago, and I was paying, uh, $2.95 a month, something like that. Some incredible special. Anyway, I, 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 got, I went ahead and booked this for like three years. This is the different plans they had. I had the basic, and then I switched to the plus because see the basic has one website and the plus has 10 websites. So I opened up other websites. Like I had EMIP blog, which I let expire, and I had plans to kind of do more kind of websites and kind of touch on a little bit of affiliate marketing, if you know about that. But um, I wind up doing two websites, but now I just got down one. So that's, this is what I did. And, and, and that special that you see, that's only from when you first joined. So when your time is up, if you ever go with Just Host, I'm gonna, in a minute I'm gonna say don't go to Just Host, but if, if you go to them, Remember, this is uh, introductory, so you want to sign up for as many years as possible because if not, they're going to be hitting you with these kind of fees, right? Now, the reason why I'm leaving them and I'm not going to go ahead and renew, because what I used to do is just open up another account under the same thing and just transfer everything over. But uh, they found a virus on my website. <laughs> and then they people claim that they can help me take care of the virus and they wanted like hundreds of dollars a month. I just thought that was a scamish, scamish. Especially when the I was it was my website was about to my, my plan is about to end next month. So it was like incredible, you know, I, I get a virus a month before my plan ends, and they got the magic solution to wipe it clean for hundreds of dollars. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'm out of here. I wound up fixing it myself. I wound up deleting some files that they said was in, I just deleted them and, and it worked. So anyway, I was looking around for hosting and I wind up finding these guys, HostGator. I heard about them before. I think I give them a shot. Look, they start at 275 a month. So I can get with that, 275 a month. This is what they got to offer. I went with the baby plan because you see this hatchling plan here as a single domain. I could just have envy me images, right? So I don't know what I'm going to do in the future. So I went with the baby plan because I can get unlimited domains and kind of run everything off of that. Cost me $5.95 a month, but I didn't pay $5.95. I, I had some kind of special. Anyway, and, and you could go here to hostgator.com. I'll put a link in the description below so you can kind of check them out. And I'm checking them out for the first time, and uh, I'll probably do another, a better review on that. I'm not really good with these hosting services, you know, but uh, I'll, I'll do a review on that. But so, let's get to the website, right? And in the hard thing, man, I had to transfer all the files over. I use a WordPress website. Now, I'm sure some of you guys heard of Squarespace. I'm not really a fan of Squarespace, but this is where Squarespace makes it easy, because transferring the website over wasn't, the easiest thing to do. I mean, it's kind of easy. They say, hey, this is how you export your WordPress, then this is how you import your WordPress. But thing, there was, things wasn't right, the pictures wasn't right, I had to do a little tweaking and this and that and this and that, and to figure out what's wrong, it takes a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and just review my website. I try to keep it clean, I like white. And if you can see, I like this website, because see how I put the cursor over there and it just kind of moves back and forth his lifestyle. I just keep it clean with three landscapes. I did have a open, you know, when you go to the website, I have this one huge picture and then you had to click on something. I eliminated that picture. Let's get right to what they want to see. So when it comes to your website, they want to see pictures. So boom, here they are. Let's go ahead and click portraits. And here they are. You know, uh, this is, these are my portraits. This is what I take. You know, you can click on them. This is one of my best pictures that I, I liked. I really had fun shooting that day. Um, this is cool too, you know. 
I, this, these are the kind of shots that I like. I, um, I, you, you, to get shots like this, you gotta bring your lights. You gotta bring lights. If you were to bring, shoot natural light, this guy is gonna be blown out because you have to expose for him. See, because I expose for that sky, right? And then you can see all the light on him and then I filled him in with the flash. And that's how you get that you know, simple topic. And always, you know, like this one, I like shooting into the sun. It was off to the side here. You get those sun rays and you can see, if you look in the sunglass, you see the lights out. I had a reflector here and uh, I think an umbrella right there. But anyway, um, yeah, that's those. And you could, let me see, let's go to my lifestyle pictures. And you know, I'm not really a lifestyle photographer. I'm not really happy with, oh, this is my favorite one right here though. I really like that. Anyway, um, that's why it's on the kind of the main, the main thing. And you can see my landscapes. Now, if you look behind me, can you see it? <laughs> my landscape pictures are all over the house. You know, this is in my house. This one right here. Um, this is in my house. That's one of my faves right there. This one is in my house. That's one of my faves right there. I mean, they're all my faves. I think this is the best. You look for a city of Louisville picture. I got the, pez the best one ever. Go to Google Images. You'll see a gazillion of them. And you tell me mine ain't the best. That's right. That's a long exposure right there. I think it was like a minute. I, I can't remember. Um, this is Niagara Falls. You know, so things like that. And this is another one. This is my storms was coming. And I was in the same spot and I actually was able to capture that. So I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, that's my website. Um, I got pricing. It's pretty simple. Here's my, here's my rate, charge $125 an hour. I keep it simple, one hour photo shoot. And I just give everything for free, you know. And if it goes over the hour, it's gonna be another $125, you know. And that's how I kinda, kinda do it. I might, mess with that price I don't know that's the only thing I mess with I was selling pictures and all that stuff too much of a headache hassle I ain't got time for it I'm just gonna charge you for my time and I found that just to be the easiest way um, I was running specials this is my specials page and uh, there's no specials that's right yeah. every once in a while I might throw something on there but haven't had a special in a long time some session info now a lot of this text is keywords keywords for google so i can rank right and if you look in here typical louisville photography session right louisville photography you can ask one of you know photography sessions but downtown louisville louisville waterfront park oh this is keywords man that's why i got this who cares about the session info i'm dropping some keywords so google can read and then here's some what to wear things now this is actually there's some keywords in here too but uh it, it gives an idea and i also blog man i have a blog and what the blog does is not really so you could learn about me and all that stuff it's so i can keep dropping keywords so i can rank that's what it's all about and keep my website active Google said oh this guy's active blah 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 he must be a Louisville photographer shooting photography in Louisville so let's go ahead and put him up put him up the ranks so that's basically what this blog is all about and I don't see my pictures I'm, I'm missing something here remember I did just do a transfer and that's why actually why I'm going over this because I'm like I, I hope everything went through this is a Louisville smiles picture See my card? I give out Louisville smiles. Are they wearing my button? Nah, I can't see. There's me. Yeah, yeah. There's my Louisville smiles buttons I was giving out to everybody. So, yeah. I, I encourage everyone to have a blog on their website. And it's basically so you can drop text, man. Drop that stuff so you can rank in Google. All right. So, it, everything looks good. I got to see what's going on with those pictures right here. There should be pictures here. I don't know what's going on. Click on them. See? Yeah, I got a problem. Got to fix that. So, um, that's it. Now I got a contact me page. I got about page. There's me looking all good. Introvert took that picture. Ain't she a good photographer? Uh, that's right. Anyway, so that's my first step. The website is looking is looking good. I got a th another three year plan with HostGator. Hopefully they treat me well. Don't tell me I have a virus and they can clean it for $200. Hopefully I don't wanna go that route. Um, I did a Squarespace video in the past. Um, I'll probably do another one. There's something I wanna show you. 
with Squarespace and WordPress blogs. I, I do like Squarespace a little more, but I think they grew a little bit. But uh, there's something that just not feeling about them. So you'll probably never see me be sponsored by Squarespace. I always go against the grain, right? I'm always going the other way. Anyway, but I'm going to show you what I don't like about them in a future video. Anyway, so that's it. Everything's looking good for 2018. The website's looking fresh. I'm going to go ahead and keep with this, stick with this style. I don't have a lot of time for website design. That's where Squarespace comes in uh, perfect because you could just change templates and stuff like that. Anyway, but this looks good. I like it. It's clean. It's simple. Uh, you just click on, you, you know, you get to click on some pictures and see, see what I do as soon as you're on the home screen and and you know anything about me, contact me. I got a web page there. Uh, fill out all this email, email message. It comes right to my email address and I can respond. All right, so I'm all set for the 2018 website. Check. <laughs> Hosting. Check. You know, you want to get this stuff ready for the spring because when spring comes, that's when people's going to want to shoot, right? The, the senior, no, senior pictures already came and went just the whole spring and summer and graduation all that stuff you know and, and the wet I don't do weddings but you know it's just a season of love people want to take portraits and get out there in the green grass in the in the fields and stuff like that so anyway right now it sucks outside but uh that's 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 that get your website ready for the spring all right so thanks for watching this video let me go back to my home page thanks for watching this video We'll go ahead and talk about some other stuff as I get ready to start shooting again. I'm, 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 I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find some. Well, that'll be the next video. I'm not even gonna spoil it. Anyway, so thanks for watching this video. I'm Dre. E M I P T V is out. Get your website up to date for the 2018. Peace.